Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Al's Vintage Toy Trains. I hope you're having a great week. So today, just about an hour and a half ago, I picked up a new outfit for myself, post-war outfit. And what I was able to pick up was this outfit number 2103W, headed by the 224. So I'm just going to do a quick preview of what I got, and then I'm going to go through this, and then I'll present it to you uh, fully uh, at a later time. So this is the outfit I just picked up. It's in generally uh, decent shape, uh, dusty, dirty, and a little bit of mildew on them. But uh, here's the 224, and really no significant paint loss on it. Again, it's got a little mildew on it and a little dirty, and the only issue I see is the, uh, the bent bell. I'm pretty sure I can uh, take care of that. The running gear looks clean, no rust there. And uh, it looks like it was lubed when it was put away, so it looks like there's plenty of lube inside here, and the wheels move freely. So I'm pretty hopeful this will run. We'll see how the E-Unit does when we open it up and take a look at it. And it came with the 2466W, or whistle tender. And this has the early trucks. So it's got brown fiberboard with the brass pickup rollers and the flying shoes. A little bit of surface rust on the uh, wheels and I procured these from a gentleman that does uh, clean outs so he advertised it and uh, I went over to take a look at these and decided to buy them. Alright we've got the 2458 automobile box car and it looks like it's in decent shape I don't see anything uh, seriously wrong with it and it also has the, uh, the fiberboard early, early trucks for 1946 with the flying shoes. And it looks like in a grease marker somebody wrote the set number on it, 210, I'm sure it's 2103W. So somebody separated these. Here we've got the 2555 single dome tank car and decals are intact completely. There's a little bit of mildew and tarnish I think on the tank car. We'll see how those clean up. And a little bit of surface rust on the wheels. And looks like one of the flying shoes needs to be repaired. Uh, this one's got the black fiber boards where the other, uh, the other two we just looked at have brown fiber board. And we've got the 3559 dump car. And this one's got the metal base. So a little different from the others, but it is part of the set. And then lastly, we have the caboose, 2457. A little bit of mildew on the side of the car, but I think that'll clean up pretty good. Really uh, no significant loss of paint or anything like that. And this one has the brown fiber board, the brass pickup roller. Uh, the, the wiring looks like it's a little brittle. That'll get replaced. And uh, the wheels need to be cleaned up a little bit. But I think this will clean up just fine. I see in it uh, looks like a red grease pencil, 2103W, right next to where it says 2457, where it's stamped in silver. So I will uh, present this set when it's completed and run it for you, and uh, we'll go through it a little more thoroughly. So I just wanted to give you an introduction to a new set that will be upcoming for you. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.